Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you've been a great morning this morning. It is Saturday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. Still got that cold thing going on, so I apologize. It's in my chest now, coughing and whatever. Lovely stuff. Um, I'm here today to review, rank, uh, praise, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, uh, this fantastic brand new album. The 24th British release, the 26th US release of Rolling Stones Hackney Diamond. Diamonds. A mark a remarkable album. Remarkable album. I kept the hype sticker on the back. Not my not much of a hype sticker. Actually, not much in the CD. Um, there's what the the booklet. No f photos in here. All lyrics. I'm a little disappointed in the in the booklet itself. I guess the there's a digi pack with it tells you all the band members who's on each track. <clears throat> um, I guess the digi pack has photos in it, um, and I think the vinyl has photos. But um, I would have loved some photos of this one. But anyway, that's just minor. Uh, release October 20th of this year. Uh, their first release since 2005 is A Bigger Bang. Uh, 12 amazing tracks. Um, multiple guest stars. Um, and a ton of just great rockin', rockin tracks. You got guest stars like Sir Paul McCartney, Sir Elton John, Lady Gaga, Stevie Wonder. Uh, two tracks featuring Charlie Watts. They dug them up, I think, from 2019. I don't, they didn't dig him up. They dug the tracks up. Sorry, that was bad. Um, Bill Wyman, the original bass player, plays on a track. Um, just amazing stuff. Uh, most of it recorded live in the studio. And uh, for these guys that are in their late, late 70s and early 80s, uh, you got to give it to them. You just have to give it to them. Um, and there's more in the tank. They've got another album that they're working on. So there's more to come from the Rolling Stones. Um, greatest rock and roll band ever. I mean, this, the Beatles are my ultimate favorite band. Um, pop band for sure. But uh, the Stones, I mean, they're still around and uh, still sound great. Mix sounds so good. The riffs on this are great. The leads are great. Um, yeah, starts off with uh, starts off with "Angry," the big single off the album. That I think it came out well before the album was released. <clears throat> uh, love the riff. Just a fun back to boogies. And basic stones track great video showing some past photos and some recent photos um mix sounds good of course they have a, have a hot chick in the in in the, the video um it's all over the map it's on jimmy kimmel it's all over the place i mean these guys but anyway angry is a cool cool track to start it off uh, and then you get uh get close great drumming by steve jordan who Charlie, <clears throat> on his deathbed, uh, recommended Steve Jordan to replace him. Um, or even when he, when he wasn't on his deathbed, when he was sick, he said, have Steve Jordan come in and play. And they haven't regretted one minute of it. Uh, more great riffs. A cool sax solo on that one. Great track. Great track. Get close. Uh, depending on you, nice ballad type of track. Love the jangly guitars in there. And the slide adds to that track as well. Uh, Ronnie Wood has a, is a great slide guitarist. Um, yeah, it really, I find this album highlights his playing uh, a lot more with great lead work. Uh, some blistering stuff too. Uh, Bite My Head Off, straight ahead rock and roller. Uh, features none other than, than Sir Paul McCartney on bass. And I guess he was just like a school kid coming in to play on this one. And then halfway through the track, you hear uh, Mick say, come on, Paul, 
Let's hear some bass as he as he lays down this uh, fuzzy and gritty bass lick, and uh, so so cool. Uh, just a great Stones combination. So you got Beatles and Stones together in one track. A uh, whole wide world, not a bad track. I love the lyrics. Uh, love the blistering lead on this one as well. Uh, it's a decent, decent Stones track. Um, and again, just before I, I premise this, I've listened to this album four or five times. So it's not like I've listened to it once, and, and I don't think you could. you got to listen to it. I'm going to listen to it some more, obviously. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, Dreamy Skies, country acoustic track, Hank Williams style. Mick plays some harmonica on it. Decent stuff. They always had some country elements to their songs. Uh, mess it up. Maybe my least favorite on the uh, on the album. I'm not, uh, you know, I kind of pass it by. Uh, as well as "Live by the Sword" featuring Elton John on piano. Um, you don't hear much piano. It's not a bad track, but it doesn't grow on me for some reason. I don't know why. So these two kind of lower the the ranking to me. <clears throat> Pardon me. At uh, number nine, Driving Too Hard, back to the Great Stones sounding track. Love the slide work. Nice lead work on here, too. Cool, cool track. Uh, Tell Me Straight, the only song, uh, song sung by Keith. His voice sounds really good on this one. I mean, he's never had the greatest voice, but uh, it's a decent voice. And this one, it just seems to, I don't know, like grow with age or something. I don't know. Nice ballad. Nice ballad for sure. Um, number 11. Sweet Sounds of Heaven. Take Me to Church on this one. Sweet Sounds of Heaven featuring Lady Gaga. Um, it's a type of track that I could just picture arms in the air, laying hands. and You know, mixing's a good part of the track. And then it kind of does this pause. Then you hear Lady Gaga just take it and just, wow. She has an amazing voice. I don't know her stuff all that well but this is a take me to church type of track um yeah cool cool stuff and um at number 12 it ends with uh a bad blues number um rolling stone blues it's a delta style type of blues back to their roots they've always been a blues based band <clears throat> Uh, I may have referred this one to be a, either a bonus track or have uh, Sweet Sounds of Heaven end the album. Uh, maybe this one a little higher in the mix. Um, it just kind of, yeah, once you, you're you still reeling over Sweet Sounds of Heaven and, and just in that moment and then you get this old Delta Blues style track. Kind of weird place to put it. But cool track, just to say. Um, I think it's a fantastic album. I really do. Uh, a couple of tracks that so-so, but uh, um, sounds good. Uh, really well produced. Playing is amazing. Vocals are amazing. Uh, I'm going to give this one a four to five. Uh, and I'm looking forward to what else they have coming down the track. So there you have it, guys. Rolling Stones. Um, Hackney Diamonds. Apparently that's a slang for um, broken glass um, during a robbery or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Awesome stuff. Check it out. Give it a good chance. Give it two, three, four lessons. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Anyway, guys, have yourself a great rest of the day. Love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.